So in summary, the batch effects sometimes are not avoidable. So in many cases, you have batch effects, especially if you're analyzing many data sets from uh, uh, GEO, for example. Uh, there are many batch correction available, but mostly using joint dimensionality reduction, such as joint PCA or CCA. And then or a combination of also the joint clustering, which is the MNNs, Scanorama, and Harmony. Um, even though joint dimensionality reduction as the Zim wave and the SC merge, they uh, yield interpretable results. But the problem is very computationally expensive. So usually you would prefer probably graph-based methods, which can be a very fast. But sometimes they, there are some differences that you need to, to account for. So the performance assessment of the, the batch correction is challenging. It's not very clear how you should judge, judge, judge that. So in my experience, biology is the best way, as well as seeing, for example, for those patterns that I mentioned. Um, sample multiplexing is the best way to avoid uh, those back, batch differences. Um, and in some cases, you can also use the RNA profiling or like the hashing, site seek, and reap seek to avoid batches. And you now know also that not only you will do batch integration for RNA uh, methodology, but you can use integrate RNA and attack seek, RNA and methylation uh, using those same methods that I, I presented now. 